Availability bias is a cognitive bias that causes people to overestimate the likelihood of events with greater availability in memory. And that can be influenced by how recent the memories are or how unusual or emotionally charged they may be. Often we base our decisions on information that is available to us at a given time and forget about information that isn't easily recalled, leading us to erroneous assumptions. If you don't believe me, just think about how it can affect your decision making. Consider you are on the beach in Hawaii. You're thinking of going for a swim in the ocean, but what about shark attacks? Well, that thought pops into your head and completely clouds your view of the situation. You'll be more discouraged to go for a swim, even though you'd probably be safer in the water than you are on land, given that statistically more people are killed by falling coconuts than shark attacks. 15 times more. Now, confirmation bias is a cognitive bias that causes people to favor information that confirms their beliefs. And to discriminate against opposite or unfamiliar opinions. What I mean by this is, let's say you're a red meat eater, then you'll quickly find supporting evidence that eating a juicy steak is beneficial. But when you're a vegan, you'll look for something to confirm that there is in fact a negative effect of red meat on health. In the end, you're kind of building a, I'm always right, ego around your way of thinking and find evidence for it everywhere. Now, availability bias and confirmation bias can be combined. Imagine you've read an article claiming that your cell phone usage might be related to brain cancer. A little while later, you're talking to a friend about the purchase of a new cell phone. What immediately comes to mind? Hey, I've just read an article about cell phone usage being bad for health. You sure you want that new phone? When researching the topic on the internet, you find some dubious articles that back up your idea that, yeah, cell phones are bad for health, but also some more research that refutes it. Confirmation bias may lead you to favor the articles confirming your existing belief and discounting those that refute it, even if the latter might be more plentiful and backed up with scientific research. Now, how to avoid these traps? Simply by being aware of them. If you're able to identify that you are experiencing availability bias, then you can take the right decision. Also, it's a good practice to try avoiding using a single source of information for your research or even consider consulting with someone who has a different view on the topic you're thinking about. This way, you're reducing your chances at getting blinded by confirmation bias. Simple, but maybe a little easier said than done. I'll not be looking at palm trees the same way again. Other videos in this series include loss aversion versus risk aversion and how anchoring is, well, making you pay too much. You can check them out here.